So apparently, not only are we not feeling the jam to see, well, I'm not feeling the jam to see. It looks like RuPaul is not feeling the, the jam to see either <laughs> in this episode. Right. It comes out. <laughs> right. Ru is not having it, but. He, he's yeah. not. Mm. It's. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's me again and Maya, and it's time to lean in, bitch. We are here for Drag Race, RuPaul's <laughs> Drag Race All Star Six. It's Sunday. We're gonna talk about this episode. Was it five? I believe it was. Uh, we get yeah. the season, and at this moment, there were nine uh, queens left, which is typically where it would be after episode two of like the original right. All Stars. But we got more queens this season, more drama, and a lot more mm -hmm. going on. But first off, how are you doing, Maya? I'm good. This episode stressed me out. That's okay. really all I have to say about it. So let's get Maya into it. Maya is stressed. This is, this is interesting. Oh, okay. I can't Lord. wait to hear about it. I feel like we may feel the same about a few things. We'll see. I don't know. I haven't talked to you about it, so yeah. I don't know yet. Um, <laughs> but let's, let's just get into it. So episode before this, um, we had... Uh, who went home, child? Who went home? Who went home? Oh, Yara. Yara, and rightfully so. Yara was not fighting for herself. And so right. at this point, you know, the episode last week was one of, one of the best episodes that I've seen in a very long time. The, the um, mm -hmm. halftime headliners, uh, Rusical. And yes. of course, Jan won. She got her redemption. She actually won a challenge. She was not safe. She was not in the bottom. She was a winner, baby. <laughs> and um, in this episode, they come back into the workroom and they're showing all of the votes or whatever. And it looks like everybody voted for Yara with the exception of. Um, and it, with the exception of um, Jan, and I actually I mm -hmm. felt like I knew that she voted. I did too. Curia. Um, I did too. <laughs> I, I felt it in my spirit last week because it's Jan, and Jan, my thing is like, Jan, just stand in your mess. Don't sit here and talk about well. I thought yeah. the majority of everybody was gonna vote this way because of track record. No, you knew that mm -hmm. way. Everybody was tired of Yara and her none ability to. I guess fight for herself and and, and she, right because you know she she didn't want to bed so Jan, you just wanted to what Jan wanted to do she wanted to do a Manila you know even though a curious yeah. not on the Manila level at this moment in in the competition she's not per, she's performing okay but she hasn't won she's not a front runner and so it's not right. it's not given that but I just feel like she wanted to give a moment did you have any thoughts on that I. <sighs> Part of me understands what she was thinking mm -hmm. because I've heard even outside of the show, Queens talking about, you know, um, if you don't vote with the group, you kind of get ostracized. Mm -hmm. So I understand where her thought process was like, oh yeah, Akira has been in the bottom twice in a row. Last week, everybody voted for her. So in her mind, she was probably really thinking, oh yeah, everybody's going to vote for Akira. But at the same time, I do also think she was threatened because really at this point in the game, everybody you could tell everybody was gonna vote for yara nobody yeah. was thinking about voting for akira anymore. i was gonna vote especially for especially after that I right to ready too. <laughs> hello right and so it it just didn't make sense like i got why she voted for her but at the same time it didn't make sense yeah. consider what was going on in the workroom yeah it, it, it jan i'm sorry the jan to see no it wasn't working out no I, I, no no honey you knew what you were doing. No, she should have stood on that vote. Fire. <laughs> right. And, you know, like, Akira was not the strongest, you know what I'm saying? But last week, it, it was time for y'all to go home, just for the simple fact yeah. that she was not it was her time. In, the, in the competition. She did win a challenge, but as I keep saying every week, I don't even think she should have won that challenge. That was, they, they gave no. her that, and they, yeah, no. Talented queen. And that's, that's the gag, mm -hmm. <laughs> because Sorry, she shouldn't have won in the first place. Right. So... Um, after that, of course, they find out what the new challenge is for this week, which is the pink table talk. It's similar to the red table talk concept where they have a yeah. topic and they talk about it like a panel discussion, kind of like this platform, but not based on reality TV or TV shows, more so a topic. And they, had, um, yeah. they put them in groups of three because there was nine girls left. So it was an even group. Um, it was we're talking about sex. It was Akira, Trinity and Eureka. It was mm -hmm. um Motherhood, which was Scarlet, Raja, and Sonique. And then mm -hmm. Body Issues with Jan, Ginger, and Pandora. Based off the pairings, what were your predictions? Well, sorry, the pairings and the topics, what were your predictions before 
they started the actual challenge? Well, just knowing drag race, mm -hmm. I already knew sex was going to be the best topic. Drag okay. race loves a good innuendo. They love little sexual references. That, mm -hmm. And that's something everybody can relate to. Not everybody can relate to having body issues. Not everybody can relate to motherhood. Like, it just, it is what it is. And so I automatically knew that was going to be the best topic. Like, if I was a queen in the workroom, that would be the topic I want. It's easy to mm -hmm. talk about. And it's easy to make funny. Like, you can make light of it. And then once Eureka, Akira, and uh, Trinity had it, I was like, oh, yeah, they're going to be the best group because they're a strong group in itself. So mm -hmm. from the beginning, I knew they were going to be the best for sure. Um, I didn't know. Like, I was worried for Akira. I was worried for Trinity. I don't know. They're not the most... So this is not this is kind of like an improv challenge basically in a sense of not acting but they just kind of had to just talk is you know talking yeah. a conversation about the topic i don't think they even really had to make it funny because it seems like trying to be funny was like the thing that the judges did not want they really wanted a serious conversation i actually really liked the challenge actually the challenge was mm -hmm. I, th I thought it was gonna be boring i actually really liked it. i did I too that it was it was a nice put a put a, a well put together um um, challenge. I don't. I think the topics were definitely relevant. I think they could have did a little more with the topics, but overall, mm -hmm. I liked it. And so, to what you're saying about sex, I didn't care for motherhood at first. Um, body yeah. issues. Like, I, body issues. I feel like would be interesting because you can really pull into that, especially with the right. plus size queens and just queens that want to be skinny and people that want like plastic surgery. It's a lot they could have did with that, you know. Um, yeah. As far as the pairings. Um, I said I was worried for Trin Trinity and Akira. Um, I was worried for Sonique because I don't think Sonique really has. I do too. A I was. Yeah, like she has not broke out to me. And people love Sonique. I, I like her. I love Kata Sonique. But in terms of like the competition, she just kind of fades. I don't really. She's not interesting to me. She's not. I don't see. No. Her. Um, and so I was worried. No. Especially with her being moderator. I did agree with Scarlett. Like a moderator essentially is like what. I do on these on this platform like I basically I talk exactly, I, yeah. I kind of especially when it's like right now it's just you and I but when I have shows when it's like three or four of us like I'm having to kind of keep the topic as much as I can it can be hard right. but you still want to be able to get what you have to say out too while also again and I don't feel like honestly we're going to talk about I don't feel like Sony did that um, no, and then Ginger I know Ginger would do well <laughs> Ginger is Ginger this is, yeah. yeah she can do well yeah I'm Ginger's so Ginger yeah mm -hmm. she really mm -hmm. you know she can't do wrong so let's talk about group one. What did you think of group one? Like actual, their actual performance? That's the sex group, right? Yeah, se group, sorry, group one, sex, which is a curious trend in your Got it, got it. I think they did pretty good. Um, I liked what they had to say. I even like Trinity's take on, you know, being mm -hmm. HIV positive because mm -hmm. that's such a big thing and mm -hmm. it's still so stigmatized to this day. So mm -hmm. I like that she was able to bring that aspect into the conversation mm -hmm. and just talk about that. And even with the Kyria, I didn't know that she was um, living as a trans woman before. Me neither. So, that was me. And I know about Yeah, that, that was... <laughs> I didn't know that. Right. <laughs> right. That was news to me. So I like that their what their takes of what they had to say and how they could bring it back into sex and how these different aspects of their lives interact with sex. Mm -hmm. And I think Eureka did a great job of moderating. She has mm -hmm. such a great personality that mm -hmm. she was the perfect person to choose as a moderator to keep. Cause you know, Trinity sometimes could be a little timid. So I like that Eureka was able to pull different things out of her and just keep the conversation going smoothly. It was, mm -hmm. it was great. No yeah. points. I completely agree. Everything you said, I actually have down. I thought they had the best chemistry. I thought that yes. um, I liked how they 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 had a question. They had a they had a theme, which was mm -hmm. um, you know of course sex, but they also had an underlying thing of having sex in drag, and they kept bringing it, right. they kept tying it back in each individual. You know, they would give their spiel, but then they would kind of you know go back to the question. I thought that was really good and really well done, actually. I thought it flowed, so I wasn't surprised when they you know deemed as the best crew. Um, mm -hmm. What about group two, which was uh, motherhood, Scarlett, Raja, and Sonique? I liked group two. Um, I definitely agree with you how you said before, Sonique should not have been the moderator. Like, she's very soft-spoken. Uh, to me, she doesn't really have a personality that shines through. Mm -hmm. And I feel like with a moderator, you definitely need to 
have something about you that makes people want to hear what you have to say. Whereas with yeah. Sonique, like I don't can't remember anything she said besides that little moment she had with Raja. Yeah. Um, but I did like that Raja was able to talk about um, her issues with her mother because mm-hmm. that's very prominent um, for a lot of people. And also, I liked Scarlett's story about her two moms. Now, I wish she would have talked maybe a little more in depth about it. Like, I feel like she just kind of mentioned it and didn't she's really. She's talking about Scarlett. Yeah, Scarlett. I wish she would have. I don't know. Something about it. It just like she talked about it, but I feel like she didn't talk about it enough, like mm-hmm. to a point to where it made it a big topic point. Like, it was like, yeah, you mentioned it. This is your story. And then Raja, I feel like Raja had the most. Um, to give in their category. I feel like she had the most to give in terms of, of her story was very personal. Clearly it opened up a new wound that, that was still there. I didn't know she, I yeah. knew that she wanted, I knew, I remember, I remember in her season that she was wanting to see her family and mom. You remember she had that whole breakdown. On, uh, yeah. And stuff like that. But I didn't know that she had the kind of relationship, but that relationship that she has is a very common relationship amongst black gays and a black yes. parents. That's a very common relationship. I'm blessed to say mm-hmm. I, I didn't have that experience, but many people mm-hmm. have had his his experience, Raja's, and have ended up like not not talking to them, not talking to their mom. So it's good that he yeah. had a place to where he's able to still talk to his mom while also being able to acknowledge. And because he 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 kept he kept reiterating that he didn't want to make it seem like he is in a bad place with his mom, and that he didn't right. want to. He loves his mom. He just knows that the relationship was like, and that's that's really big. Um, mm-hmm. I didn't mind Scarlett Spear. I like how she kind of talked about. Cause I think I knew that he had two moms, or you know, mom. See, I didn't mom. know that. I feel like I saw that on in the season or on his page, or I don't know. I feel like I, I, I that sounds for me. If it's not him, another queen has the exact same um, family mm-hmm. uh, setup. I would say. And so right. I liked it. I thought she did a pretty good job, you know, by kind yeah. of yeah. In my opinion, I don't know. It's just me. Um, yeah, it was Sonique, nice to hear. Yeah, yeah. And so I just, just don't really faded. Mm-hmm. She just faded. Like nothing interesting. She kind of let them two kind of go. When you do moderate, you want to kind of, without being rude, bring it back. And you also want like right. to get out what you have to say. Like right now, we talking. I'm gonna always get out what I have to say. You know, and my, and sometimes right. I make sure I give it to you and pitch it. But she just, you know, it, it's it's time. It's it takes time. It takes things. You know, exp- You know, many different sit downs where you learn how to do that. And I think she will, but naturally, so yeah. Girl, it. Sorry, so neat girl. Yeah, she didn't talk about nothing. Yeah, no, at least not talked, from what I can remember. She, she didn't talk about, about nothing. trans experience. She talked about, um, I think this. She said that she was kind of a mom or something like that. It, I, it, not saying it was. I didn't. I don't. I don't think it was. Oh, she talked dog. about her dog. I oh, remember yeah, that. Dog. She talked about the dog. She did, she did talk about the dog. Yeah. That, that, <laughs> yeah. And as as doggy mothers and daughters, you and I, no. Mm. Yeah, it it's not the same thing. I would have made up something. Something. She probably tried to be relatable and came off. Not again. That's that's what really yeah. what it was. Because everybody was else had odd. real stories, you know, real stories, real, right. and, and that's what helped them, I think. And not saying her story wasn't real, but it just kind of came off as like she was, you know, I don't know. It wasn't as interesting. Um, and then yeah. group three, which was body issues: Jan, Ginger, and Pandora. Um, what do you think about them three? It was definitely the least memorable to me. Okay, like. The most I can remember is Pandora talking about what it's like to be an older queen and ages yes. in the um, drag community, yes. which I understand that because a lot of queens have talked about that on Drag Race. Like even last uh, season, well, not last season, but um, season 13 with Tamisha, like mm-hmm. how everybody was trying to cover her because she's old and things like that. So I understood. Yeah, where Pan- They're about the same age. I yeah. Pandora was like 49 or 50. Yeah. They close. Yeah. She up they there. close. Yeah, so I get it, but it was just, and I understand Ginger's point of view, um, mm-hmm. being a plus size queen, and I didn't know that she had this illness to where it's kind of what caused her to gain all this weight. So that was an interesting perspective. But I don't remember what Jan talked about. Jan talked about being a twink. Yeah, twink. Like, okay. I, mean, I used to be a twink. I mean. I like being when I was that age because it was good to be a twink. But anyway, that's not my. It's not. It's not about me. Um, this group, they were okay. Pandora, 
she did okay. Jan, she did okay. Like, I just, I did not really it understand. Wasn't. Like, what I can say about Ginger, I made an understand. I, I, I understood her story, and I, I like her story. Yes, what I definitely. didn't understand, like, how she became the sole winner when the other group did better as a group. That's um, what threw me off. Because I'm like, I, for what? Yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I think she was <laughs> no. a great moderator and she threw in her little jokes and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I think maybe yeah. that's what helped her edge her over. Because I would have given it to somebody else. I, I don't know. But I would just give yeah. it to the whole group or giving it to, you know, maybe Trinity. Somebody, I would have gave it to somebody else in that other group versus I gave it, I gave it to Ginger. I would have said Ginger was high, she did well, but I don't think she should have won. That's just me. No, um, she was definitely relatable. She definitely was a great moderator. She definitely flowed the conversation well, and she definitely had funny jokes and stuff like that. But I didn't think that she should have got it. Me, no, absolutely not. That was so confusing to me. Like, I just don't understand. Like, like you said, she was a great moderator, she had her good points and her good moments, mm-hmm. but she definitely shouldn't have won. Mm, I would say mm-hmm. it was no it was a weird choice choices yeah or some choices choices exactly um <laughs> so that was pretty much all the challenge of course we we let's talk about the runway where we get to the actual yeah. winning and stuff like that blah blah um so starting with the runways I have bigger pictures this week and I did not forget Ginger Minch okay I almost, <laughs> I almost did not blow up Look. a picture but I did not forget Ginger Minch this week okay so starting first we have Trinity K. Bonet. Now, oh, the 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 um category was Clash of the Patterns. Do you yeah. think she slayed and would you toot a boot? I will give this a toot. Um, it was very cute. Um, it wasn't necessarily Clash of the Patterns. It was and I think that's kind of kinda what yeah. yeah, that's kinda had me a little jaded looking at these runways because I'm like, there's nothing really clashing on some of them. Yeah. But I did like the look. Mm-hmm. You know, you can never go wrong with a good African print. She had her little Wakanda moment. Wasn't mad. I like, I like that Akira star. I like that Akira called her asked her was she going to be Spongebob. <laughs> yeah, because I was room. thinking 12. <laughs> so I was like, why is she paying her face? But it looked really nice. Yeah. It came out really well. So you two to boot. I'll give it a two. I give it a two because it's cute. It was put together well. And I think yeah. that, of course, I was looking for more clashing of patterns. But as I went through, exactly. as we got through the, the actual um, runways, I felt like some of them went on the clashing part. And some of them took a concept on just not ugly patterns, patterns but just patterns that would not necessarily look, you wouldn't usually use or wouldn't look as good. And they made it yeah. out. So I think with Trinity, I'm sorry, one more time, with Trinity... Like, I would never go be like, oh, let me put this on at all, in, in my opinion. But it's actually put together really nice. I like it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nothing wrong with it. Eureka. I love this. I'm going to say it was a two. A fact that she has, like, all these different patterns. I mean, I know it's just a gown. But, oh, my God, like, whoever made that, and I'm sure we can find out who, like, it has to, mm-hmm. it, it had to be a lot of work. Like, look at that. And I'm yeah. not sure if there's, like, fabric that comes like that, maybe there is. But in my head, I thought she had all those different fabrics and they put right. together and they made it. And that's what I'm sticking with. So I'm giving it the two. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Now, to me, I didn't like the patterns all together like that. No, wait a minute. You just <laughs> said what... you just said but now... the class and then you get class and now but you see, don't want... that's the thing with putting together patterns. They can clash but they can still look cohesive right. to me. And, but like, to me, like how you say it, it looks like just a bunch of panels put together, which I love that. I love the artistry Eureka wears for her body so well. Mm-hmm. So I love the construction of the dress. Mm-hmm. I love how it looked on her. I just did not like the patterns. That's fine. Yeah. So mm, I'll give it a soft to just cause this construction of it is immaculate. You can't deny that. So I'll give her a two still. But I hated the hair also. The blue hair? Maybe black would have looked better. Maybe. I didn't didn't mind it. I I wasn't really focused on the hair, but I get it. I do understand. Mm -mm. The Um, hair, no. (laughs) A curious Chanel Davenport. I'm going to say Miss... You know, honestly, I have liked most, if most of her runways this season. This one, I like the look. I don't know. I get the pattern. I get what she's doing. It's really nice, but I wish there would have been more of a pattern. But what are your thoughts? 
Now, when I first saw her come down the runway, I'm like, girl, what? You don't got on a pattern? But then I was like, oh, she has on a literal pattern. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then well, I got well, into I mean. it. Yeah. And, and yeah. right, I, knew, I knew I got that part, but I just wish I would have saw it. But I, it's a nice take on yeah. it. She, she's basically like, what a pattern, or if you're sewing clothes and the, you know, the measuring yes. tape. Like, it, 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 I, I loved like it. it. I, I, Once I, I, I got it, because like at first I'm like, at first I was so confused. I'm like, girl, what you doing? But then I was like, oh, duh, a literal pattern. And so then yeah. I live. And you know, I'm like, okay, yeah. I love the measuring tape ponytail, I love the big pin cushion purse. Mm-hmm. So I got into it once I it like clicked in my mind. I'm like, oh yes, this but is. Curia has been in her bag with these looks. She has definitely yeah. elevated some of her looks. Um, this yeah. season, last week's was like everything, and probably one of my favorite looks to see. Uh. Probably, and this week's I really yes. like. Um, and yeah, so I give it a two. I give it a two. Okay. This was great. Ooh, we didn't make this big enough, Chad. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so then we have Miss Raja O'Hara, um, and she had different, pa- different African patterns. Um, I like yes. it. I thought it was beautiful. I love it. I this. love it. It actually looked really good. It was something that I would actually put on, versus like mm-hmm. a clash. Um, so her makeup was good. I like her little. I didn't like her little dance she did on the runway. They would. I didn't understand the dance. But other than, I mean, I, just, <laughs> I, I, just, I wasn't feeling it, honey. But I was still to the look. What are your thoughts? Yes, I love this. Now, this is what I mean when I say you could wear patterns that clash, mm. but it still mm. looks cohesive. Like it looks like one complete look. Mm. It was gorgeous. I loved her little head wrap. I love the bright colors. And just yeah. like with Trinity, you can't go wrong with a good African print moment. So, right. Do you feel like it was the cute. African print moment was? I'm gonna give it a two, but I feel like it was too safe. Simple. Too safe, yes, too safe. I definitely think like there was African no way that that, can... that that I feel like that, that they were gonna be like, oh no no no, this is bad. It was a, it right. was an easy way to be like, okay, I did the assignment and I can save myself from the bottom. In my opinion, I said that doing African print is easy. But I feel like for Drag Race, they were gonna they were gonna appreciate it regardless. I mean, they have no choice. Yeah, I will say, and this might be a hot take, but I do think that African print is a easy, safe cop out choice for mm-hmm. Black queens. Yeah, and I am not mad at that. Yeah, do, I'm not mad at it. I'm I, not mad I'm at that. It's, it's it's ours. It's us. We do it. That's fine. <laughs> But I do feel like it is definitely easy. Yeah. I look at Bob, Bob the drag, not Bob the drag queen did it before, but she looked great. Yeah, that was, that, I feel like that was probably the first time we see it on drag. Bob queen. and Monet. No, no. Well, I know Monet, but I'm saying I think Bob's finale look was the first time that I had seen it on Drag Race. I think I can't remember, but that's the first one. Mm-hmm. You don't remember her finale look when she either when she won, or no, yeah. when she came back for season nine, I believe it was. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. So yeah, but I do I agree. We're on the same page here, and we're not mad. But I definitely think it's definitely an easy way to get some right. kind of praise. You know what I'm saying? And looking beautiful because they're gonna they're gonna eat it up. They're gonna eat it up regardless. They have no choice. They're not gonna eliminate you on some African print they to can't. be politically correct. They're not gonna do it. They so. <laughs> but I'm not mad at that. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. Um. So neat, Kylie Love. Now, I'm gonna go really quickly. I like the dress. I did not like the hat with it. I feel like she should have did something else with the hat. Um, you can tell that was like her thing. But mm-hmm. the look itself was okay. It was nice, it was patterny, but I wasn't blown yeah. away. It just looked ready to wear. So yeah. I give it a soft too. Like it didn't give, it gives me regular, you know, just cisgender woman fashion just going out and you know when i and my issue with sonique is that i feel like on drag race she needs to elevate herself and give us like things that we wouldn't just see coming down the street you know what i'm saying it was not basic it just was not elevated it was okay from this from the dress even throwing on the hat itself to me it gave yeah but you go ahead i'm gonna go ahead and call it basic this looks Ooh. like I could walk into Fashion Nova right now and go buy off the rack for forty nine ninety nine, put it on, and go to brunch. Ooh. It is what it is to me. Because 
And I like Sonique, but I agree with you. She needs to elevate her drag to be on Drag Race. Like, I understand she's given the fish woman fantasy. We right. love that. But on the runway, yeah. I don't want to see anything that I could see on FashionNova.com. And that's what this gives me. <laughs> like, and people gag for Sonique, but this wasn't it for me. I'm not impressed. I, I, people, I saw, I saw no, a status today. I'm not my impressed. Friend, my, other, my other co-host, Chad, that does uh, Encore with me, he was just like, he made a status, he was like, Callie's a bad bitch. I was like, yeah, she's bad, but she's actually quite boring. She's, she's bad. She beat. She's, she's boring. But she's right. boring. She's beautiful. But she's, she's boring. the boring. Yeah. <laughs> Beauty and boring. Um, but so Hello, bro. I, I'm going. I'm, I don't want to boot it because it's not ugly. But I'm a booty. I'm a I boot just, it. Oh, somebody gonna get us a booty <laughs> and not boot somebody else. But yeah, I'm gonna give it a, a, a well, a, not a boot, not a say to. I'm gonna give it like a, a little small, slight shoot. Because I'm gonna give it a light guys. boot. I'm get. I'm giving it a light boot because I'm tired of the fashion over ready to wear. Okay, I'm tired right. of it. Now, Miss Scarlet Envy, who wore her letters from her grandmother, I believe. Yeah, uh, that was cute. Boot or toot? Toot or boot? I'm going to give it a soft toot. Yeah. Because I like the story behind it. I like yeah. the patterns that were on yeah. it were very cohesive, but I feel like the colors were a little too muted. Yeah. Her makeup it was gorgeous, and I love mm-hmm. what she was going for with this like 50s housewife and you're wearing these letters from the war and Mm -hmm. i loved that Mm -hmm. i just feel like it could have been a little better so soft it could it it could have been better Uh, she has had great runways she looked beautiful Mm -hmm. but the dress in terms of the the, i mean it was a nice take on it but i feel like Mm -hmm. when they asked her like some of the dresses you have to explain it and there's always some kind of you know Something that they're concerned about. Yeah. I think when she when Michelle asked that, I think she was kind of being like, it's, she explained it and it's legit, but there that's that's always a hint that there may be an issue at like understanding of what the yeah. hell she got on. You know? Exactly. So yeah. Once I you gotta start explaining, it's a little uh, Yeah. Yeah. And she had to explain. So soft two for me. Yes. Definitely soft two. Jan with this no. outfit on. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> and I love Jam, but Ooh. no. <laughs> no. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm a too. Don't like I didn't like the color. It was I didn't like the color. I didn't the story. I like sure. the color. I didn't like the color. <laughs> it was too much of that color. It was yeah. the bags with different patterns. Like she tried to make it so campy but so fashion and I'm like, I don't like it, Jam. I'm booted. no. Mm-mm. I will say I like the color. I love lavender. I like the pattern of the dress. I'm also mm-hmm. a big marble print girl. Mm-hmm. I live for that. But no, it just something about it was not right. I didn't live the little stirrups. No, it mm-mm. something about it just wasn't right. It was also giving very. I could go into Fashion Nova and buy that dress. Yeah. No. Boot, it, sorry, boot, and I boot, feel boot, like boot. the the bags too were a cop out. Like you're supposed to be wearing the pattern. If you didn't have those bags, you just got on a print dress. That's true. That's very true. Like no, no. no. that's very no. true. We're gonna boot you, Jan, and it's not because we don't yeah. feel the Janice is. It's because I don't even know if there is a Janice anymore. I think you're just yikes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um. So moving on to Ginger Minch. Now I recently said that. I don't really see fashioners. I don't really care for any of Ginger's looks. I actually mm-hmm. love this look. Actually, I yeah. actually love the boots with it too. Um, I yes, this was a great clash of the patterns, and I think I think she sold it. She was so cute. Like this is, I don't, I don't yes. expect high fashion from Ginger because it's not her drag. But this is what I want to see. Like her, like still look good. And I think this was definitely she had a concept. She had the pattern. Mm-hmm. She, she was in theme. I loved it. I'm going to give it a complete toot. Yes. I have to give Ginger her props. She deserves a toot for this. It was so cute. And I don't know what it was about this outfit that I just loved. Like, it was yeah, constructed it made me, so it made well. Want, it made me want some candy. Like, I was hungry for some yes. candy or something. I don't know. It's like, ooh, what, I just want to eat It was just so, it like, 
whimsical. I lived. I love the little peplum. I love that the boots went with the hat and that she had you know what I didn't even see that. I didn't even notice that yes. the hat until just now. I saw the boots and I was I still love this. Yeah. So seeing that I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Yes, and I love the little asymmetrical hair with the little hat tip to the mm-hmm. side. Mm-hmm. The makeup was gorgeous with that orangey lip. I love a good orange look. Mm-hmm. She looked great. Okay. She she did that this week. She looked so good. So you're going to toot it, right? Yes, definitely okay. a toot. Moving on to Pandora Box, um, in which right before this, I had to ask you what was the reference from, which I can't think of her name. It's from <laughs> Nightmares Before Christmas. I mean, Nightmare, yeah. Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, mm-hmm. I am going to boot this look because yeah, Mm-mm. because I understand <laughs> where it came from and what it is. I don't. I feel like it's lazy. It gives me costume, especially seeing what it came from. It does have yeah. patterns, but I feel like the fit. She should have. What she should have did was find a way to make this way more interesting than what it is, and she did. She just got it made. She threw it on. Mm-hmm. It's, it doesn't really have like a shape to it. Like she could have gave us a, a big, you know, big. Uh, what you call when you have like a big hip little moment or whatever it's called. Like yeah. Type of dress. She could have did something to make it like look like ooh, but it just looks like a dress from Party City with a couple of moments that she took to the seam to get stitched in, and she got a red wig on. I wasn't feeling it. I'm booting it. Yeah, it's a boot for me. It's definitely giving Party City. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just That's yeah the... it just wasn't it and maybe I would have liked it better had she did like the Nightmare Before Christmas makeup to tie oh, it together true. and make it real yeah. costumey Be- it just it looked ugly the way that she wore it It did. unfortunately ugly. until I saw the reference it... I would have never known I was just like, all I saw was like a dress with some patterns right and then I saw the picture yeah. and I was like oh it's still a boot. <laughs> yeah, because when she came around the corner, I'm like, this is looking real nightmare before Christmas. And then when she said that's what she was going for, I was just like, I wasn't even listening. She came. Why would you go in for that? Girl, I, don't know. I was like, child. Anyway, like, uh, uh-uh. uh. Right. right. It's a boot. Right. I would like to make sure y'all, everybody, know I'm wearing my pattern today. I don't see me my my <laughs> little pattern, but maybe she going home this week. I'm top all star. <laughs> <laughs> um, well. So that was pretty much the runway And then of course Top team was the sex Which was Eureka, Akira, and Trinity And Ginger yeah. Minj wins the challenge Which means that she now has to um, Do the um, The lip sync for her legacy Against the lipstick assassin But one thing that happened, two things that happened So the critiques, they kind of basically Went in on Jan slightly By telling her she's basically being Jan and Jan had a little moment where she's like kind of trying to explain herself. And it's like, I don't know what it's going to take for Jan. And it's, it's sad for someone to keep kind of coming at who you are. That's really who you are. I'm sure that's yeah. really hard. But something, my nose ring, child. Just something Jan <laughs> is going to have to realize that she's just, I don't know. There, there needs to be a switch. She don't have it, right? But when it's a, it's kind of sad because when she spoke, child, Jan, I mean, RuPaul like kind of laughed at her a little bit. <laughs> While she was crying, <laughs> I don't know. right? I did feel bad for Jen in that moment because they keep saying like she's fake, but I'm like, to me, from what I've seen, that is who she is. That's she's just mean. a very bubbly, happy. Spirit. She's that's the that's girl who... next door that is annoying that you'd be like, yeah, that's, that's just cool. who she is, and they keep coming for her saying it's giving fake, it's giving this, it's giving that, and. I could see how that's hard where people are just like literally just coming for your actual personality. But she does need to have that switch to be able to tone it down a little bit. Like, you know, that's who you are and you know that people perceive it a certain way and not to say change yourself, but you need to be able to tone it down a little bit. Yeah. I agree. So, they said, I do they so bad the same, though. The same critique went to Scarlett. They talked about her performance, basically how she was, you know, it was a moment I think what the issue is that this challenge, usually for Drag Race, they want you to be funny. They want you to do stuff like that. You know, right. the culture of Drag yeah. Race is to incorporate some type of humor to whatever challenge you do, and you're exactly gonna be good, right? Scarlett yeah. and I, Scarlett and Jan tried to do that this week. 
And it, for some they reason, did. the judges wanted nothing but like serious moments. They wanted a good, in-depth conversation. They didn't have much. Ginger was, she had moments, but she didn't really, it wasn't like, like I, do, I see what they were saying about Scarlett. I, thought they, I didn't think Scarlett was like bottom worthy, to be honest. But yeah, I guess compared no. to everybody else, so neat, Scarlett and Jan, it made sense for them to be where they were, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, and Pandora, too. Yeah. So, um, it was... The critiques, I think, this week were very weird. Like, I felt bad for... Because, to me, the th- weird thing about this challenge was I feel like people have drag personas. Yeah. But you're asking them to sit and talk about their real life when they're out of drag. That's and so true. that's where like the lines kind of got weird because it's like that's you true. want people to be serious and talk about what's going on in their real life where a lot of the times people put on a whole different persona in drag. So it's like, where do you blur the line between the two? And that's, that's why true. this challenge was so weird to critique for me. Because yeah. yeah, Scarlett was trying to be funny and all that and still be serious. But she still was serious. She had a good balance. I don't think she yeah. should have got that kind of critique, honestly. And I'm not saying it No, I don't think Scarlett. so. I thought that she did a good job of trying to, you know, blend the two. She she wanted mm-hmm. to make she was serious when it, when it was time to be, but then she wanted to tap into her, you know, Scarlett a little bit. Right. So, I don't know. It was right. it was a little weird. Um, so of course they weird. give their spills. I don't think I really watched the spills like that, but the lip sync this week. So the lip sync assassin mm-hmm. comes out and it's Bianca Del Rio. And I'm like, it's so funny <laughs> that Akira is speaking and I'm like, what the fuck? Bianca Del Rio is not a lip sync assassin. Did she even lip sync? <laughs> so right, I was like, was talking, I'm just like, she got a point. Um, so I kind of thought it was like a joke then too, but I was just like, okay, they're really going to do this. Maybe she's been practicing. Um, but it, it turns out to be Mayhem Miller, who was from last season, All Stars Five, and then All Star—I mean, um, RuPaul's Drag Race season ten. Um, they did Lizzo Phone, which is one, like one of my one of my favorite songs. I Lizzo. love that song. I actually used to love yeah. that song before Lizzo even got big. I listened to her music, and I remember that song yeah. specific. So I was excited. Me too. I just wasn't <laughs> excited that Ginger was doing it, <laughs> just because. Yeah. I know Ginger. I really like. Not every song has to be like that, but I just wish it wasn't like that. And, and people, the lip sync. Like, how did you feel about the lip sync? People are saying that it has replay value and stuff like that. I don't really feel like it, it was okay. I wouldn't go back and watch it, but it was she, Ginger did what she needed to do. But I wouldn't have just thought she was the immediate winner. Um, so no, lip sync. I feel like they didn't do this song justice i love mayhem miller but the editing of that lip sync it wasn't interesting enough for me yeah, yeah it wasn't so it wasn't. maybe Coming from last you know in person was a little better but that, it's just mm-hmm. like it, uh, the best lip sync right now is lagage and what's her name oh so. yeah yeah that, no it's not yeah, this it, wasn't, it wasn't a bad lip sync i, I it wasn't bad. right it, it's still miles better than many of the ones from last season all Stars Five, mm-hmm. but I just feel like for the song, like they have to give Ginger that song, like really, come on. Right, it just I don't know. I wasn't entertained enough. I don't think. Yeah. And I love that song, and I think that's kind of where my mind was at. Yeah. And it just it it wasn't the best. Uh, and Mayhem, she, I mean, she's a lip sync girl, but I wouldn't have given her an assassin. I mean, she did some stuff, Ooh. but I wouldn't have necessarily said she was an assassin. Ooh. And last night kind of proved it because thus far I feel like she probably was the weakest assassin this season, in my opinion. Um, yeah. She she didn't come back with nothing to prove. I feel like everybody else came back with something to prove. They came back too slight, and she kind of just passively her little duck walk and her little uh, yeah whatever man. Um, Ginger mm-hmm. wins, and she wins the big bank of thirty thousand dollars because you know no nobody has won no no right. cast member has the won past the two. assassins the last two episodes so it's thirty thousand mm-hmm. dollars and she gives twenty five hundred gener- the, the generous queen to her team members <laughs> she should have gave it to the team that actually won because I just thought that Hello. was a slap in the face that they won the challenge but she was the top yeah star. but I guess she she got to keep sending money herself I don't know child um, and. Okay. That was pretty much the episode because Scarlet goes home. Ginger chooses Scarlet. I do feel like in this run, it was kind of it was difficult for her to choose who to go home because it's like Jan. Who, who was the, the bottom three? Was Jan, Scarlet, and Sonique. 
Was Pandora? Sonique. Mm -mm. It was she Sonique. Was... Okay. So Sonique and um, what's her name? Sonique and Scarlett have the same record. Like they have not really been. They have won anything. So of course she Jan was kind of ruled down unless she wanted to get rid of some competition, which I don't think Jan is competition. But they chose Scarlett, and I was like, oh. Scarlett, no. It was sad. That really was a gag. I was scared. It was a gag. I thought she would make it a little further. Um, and so they just go, so you never know. You don't know who, we, we don't know who is going to win this season. No. People are winning up and down, and it's just getting like, there has not been a person that has won twice. Every episode has been what? a new, there's been a winner, a new winner. And it's just like, you got some winner, one winner's gone home, one winner been in the bottom like this, and it's just, it's all over the place. So I'm it excited is. just for the next few episodes. Um, of course, this game within the game is still going on, whatever the fuck that is. Right. But, um, we still don't know. Who do you think is going home next week? Jan. But you know what? <laughs> At this point, because, you know, I was feeling the Jan to see, but... This was her episode to go home. And so I can't wait to see how they're going to talk about that next week. Mm -hmm. But it's so all over the place. You literally never know. And I kind of, I'm into that, but I'm not at the I, same time. I'm okay should, with it. Yeah, because it's like, you just don't know. Like the game yeah. is so suspenseful at this point, And we still don't know this game within a game. So it's just, everything is up in the air. You literally mm -hmm. don't know how this game is going to go. Yeah. I'm going to say, I don't want to say, I, you know what? Next week is uh, American Horror Story. The, oh, the yeah. what's it called? The, co the cover, cover girl? Cover girl? Coven girl? Yeah, like coven, coven girl. Root Ru American Horror Story. Coven girl. That's what it is. Yeah. It's an acting challenge. And this is something that, what's her name? Jan could really be extreme. She's good at it. Now watch she get up there and she flop. She going to choke. But you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm going to say Sonique is going home. Because I don't think she's going to be able to pull through the acting challenge. I'm sticking with Jan. Because I'm glad she got her redemption, but now I'm ready for her to go again. She's taking me back to season 12, and I'm sick of it. So, yeah. I'm just, Jan, we're not, I'm not yeah. going to Jan to see RuPaul laugh at the Jan to see on the, on the stage of RuPaul's Drag Race. Jan, I think you should take, take this win, your, your $10,000 tip, whatever you got last week. And we will right. see you at um, we we'll see you on Instagram or wherever else you get booked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, but this, this is no hate to the Queen of Jan. This is just it's just no. I'm not feeling it. It's, I love Jan. Yeah, I'm it's not just feeling not feeling getting this right this now. No, it's not. And y'all didn't see <laughs> home Scarlet over Jan, and now I'm mad. So get Jan out. I'm here. yeah, I'm kind of pissed. I'm pretty pissed. <laughs> Scarlet needed to go longer, but she had way yeah. more to offer. I think. I feel yes, like. but. So we'll hopefully, because at this point with the game, it, within a game, the only people I can really want coming back are either Silky or Scarlet at this point. I would if that's even what the game within a game is going to be. I only, that if, if, right, if there is some kind of whatever. But I think there's the fact that they're only offering it to them when they go home. It has to be some kind of way to bring somebody back. So, yes, at this moment, I would only like Silky or Scarlet to come back. Unfortunately, or if if, if it could be a... Of, um, what you call it? Um, oh, All Stars Two, where they brought the girls back and then they voted somebody off. Oh. That'd be too easy though, and that's that's like it would that messy. Lord, I don't. But, know. I mean, you never know. You yeah. know, World of Wonder is real messy over there. You don't know. <laughs> well, with that being said, we have covered everything for this episode, uh, episode five, episode six is next week, and so we'll be back to talk about that as well. Um, she predicted that um, what's her name is going home. That Sony going home. I say Jan. We gonna see next week. Uh, it's been a mm -hmm. gag, but until next week, make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment, all things Celine. You can find myself in Maya on Instagram, of course, at Stupid Wild Tears and at Maya Taught You and at the Lean Blog for the rest of the season. Yeah. Like this video if you like it. If you don't like it, still like it because we don't want haters in twenty twenty. Hello. Period. We don't do that. With, right. <laughs> With that being said, y'all have a good rest of y'all Sunday, and we will talk to y'all later. Goodbye. Bye.